Okay, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Cloudy back with another video and today I wanted to film a get ready with me concert edition because I do have a concert to go to and I thought why not film this because I enjoy watching get ready with me and I love makeup and I love hair so I was like let's just film the process. So today I just basically filmed my makeup, my hair, and my outfit for you guys so you guys could see how I get ready for a concert and what I wear and how I do my hair for a concert. Um, hopefully I get to do more of these because I am planning on going to more. But this concert specifically was Calibash, which is a big reggaeton concert, which is like a bunch of artists come together to perform. And it is Saturday, January 11th. Hopefully you guys enjoy. So I usually start with my makeup and then I do my hair and then I change. I'm wearing a hoodie right now because I want to be comfy. So that's what I'm doing. By the way, I'm wearing Keen and JC merch, so that's great. Um, I'm gonna start off with the Clean and Clear Dual Moisturizer, which I do this before I do my makeup. in for a bit and while I let that set in I'm gonna go dip my beauty blender next I'm gonna prime my face and I'm gonna use the elf poreless putty primer um, I recently got this so I don't know how I feel about it still in the testing out situation For this look, I'm going to be using the Tarte Shape Tape Foundation. Um, I like this one because it is a matte foundation and it just keeps your face matte throughout the night. And I usually just like to use this one. concealer I'm using the elf 16 hour camo concealer it's it looks a little messy so I'm so sorry about that but it's this one I'm in the color light peach this one's too light for my skin like the contrast is very different so I usually just try and just dot it under my eyes I don't put a lot around my face or skin put it over my eyes as well to conceal my eyelids on both sides next thing I do is I use the NYX can stop won't stop contour concealer in the color mocha and I just put one dot there and I blend it in with my beauty blender and with the extra leftover that I have I put it on the top of my forehead and drag it down with that so I blend it in as good as I can I know my hair looks like a mess. I'm so sorry. It'll look better when I'm done. After I use all the liquid 
stuff on my face, I tend to go with a loose powder. I'm currently using the Air, Air Spun loose face powder. And it's honestly been one of the cheapest powders I've tried, but one of the best loose powders I've tried for my skin. So if you guys haven't tried this, I say you should try it. I tend to just use a powder brush and use a powder because I don't really like to bake. It's a lot of work. my eyeshadow now um don't really know what I'm gonna do but we'll figure it out as we go I'm gonna be using the Marfi Times James Charles palette so I like to begin with this color right here as a base for my entire eye and powdered and everything. So I'm gonna do that first. So I think I'm gonna go for another red look, red orange look. So I'm gonna use this orange first and then I'm gonna go a little deeper with this red. Now we're gonna go in with this lighter orange all over the lid. and I go I do the bottom I do my lash line and I'm gonna do orange and yellow in the bottom and then just mix that together I'm gonna use a L'Oreal um, Voluminous Original Mascara and put that all on my top lashes And then I use a different mascara from my bottom lashes because I tend to get like after a while the mascara just runs to like under and it just gets very nasty in the bottom. So I've been using the L'Oreal Telescopic and it's not something that I think that I thought that I would like because the wand is so tiny. But for my bottom lashes I think this is perfect. It's like really good to get in there and I haven't like had an issue. Um, once I'm done with mascara, I go over with the powder bronzer and I've been using the MAC Times Aaliyah bronzing powder in Baby Girl. This is how. It's very, it's a light bronzer and it has shimmer in it which I really really like and I tend to put this one over my bronzer and just 
then I go in with blush and I use the Milani um, baked powder blush in Luminoso. It's been like one of my favorite powders. It's one of my favorite blushes that I've ever used. So I tend to just put some on. And I recently started putting it on my nose as well. So. And then last thing I do is put on highlight, highlighter. And I use the NYX, uh, it's an eyeshadow brush, blending brush, but I use it as a highlighter brush. Because I don't know, I just like that it gets more of the product than your normal highlighting brush. And I use the Fenty Beauty um, Kilowatt Duo in Lightning Dust and Fire Crystal. And I just tend to like mix the two and put that on the highlighting areas. Look at that highlight. And then I put it on the tip of my nose, on the bridge of my nose. And then I use the lightning dust specifically on the inner corner of my eye. First thing I do is brush out my hair, and I know it looks a little crazy because it gets really puffy when I do brush it out, so just be aware. wear this little top from forever 21 it's just a little loose top I wore a tube top from a boutique by my house that I found um, jeans are from American Eagle they're ripped and then I wore boots from Steve Madden and that is my outfit I do have a black jean jacket from Levi's in case I get cold but since it is in Staples Center and there's gonna, it's gonna be packed I don't think I'll need it but that's it for this video so that was the end of the video I hope you guys enjoyed this I will I am planning to film more of these thank you for watching um, hope you like and subscribe and I'll see you next time bye